What's going on, Anim Monday? It is your boy Ghost King Kami, and I'm here to give you an Anim Monday recap. Today, I'm here to talk about summertime rendering. Summertime rendering is actually a excellent piece of anime work that I just recently finished watching. It's a very dynamic piece. This anime has so many different components to it that essentially make it very compelling to watch. You know, it has a lot of those action -y, you know, shonen type tropes in there, but then also too, still retaining a lot of like classiness to it. Something similar to along the lines of like Monster, where there's a lot of, of mystery and investigation that goes on in the show that forces the viewer to really tap in mentally and really pay attention because this is a detail-based show. And just so I can give you guys a little bit more of some insight into it, the anime follows a young boy named Shinpei who is going back home to his hometown island to visit his friends that he hasn't seen in about two years. But it's not just your regular visit. We're talking about one of his friends recently actually passing, actually his best friend. So now after his best friend has passed, he is returning back to his homeland for her funeral. Upon arriving, you know, everything seems kind of normal at first, but things start getting a little weird. He starts noticing little oddities within the, the storyline of his friend's death, which causes him to question things. You know, this is one of those animes where like, I'm gonna give you guys information, but I'm gonna do my best to like, not completely spoil it, because there are a lot of little nuances and details in between that really make it a very enjoyable ride of the show to watch. Everything starts off kind of self-explanatory until things go dark. I guess I can give you guys this one. So with summertime rendering, like I said, Shinpei starts noticing in these little odd instances in his hometown focused around the death of his best friend Ushio. And what he ends up realizing is that people in his village are being cloaked and not like they clone Tyrone type clones. I'm talking about Naruto, Kage, and Bunshin, and Shadow clones. There is a society of shadow beings that inhabits this island. And the shadow beings are turning themselves into a physical light form version of whoever they're the shadow of and in turn killing the original to take their place. Our main character ends up kind of catching on to that and that's what really makes things kick into gear for this show because these shadow people do not play. These shadow people are extremely deadly and they definitely get to body it. My boy Shinpei. So first episode, my boy Shippei is getting boomed by a shadow person. But now here's the special thing about Shinpei. Every time Shinpei dies, he has the ability to go back in time and go through the events again. And he retains memory of the details of what happened before he died. So Shinpei is using these little slivers of information to actively unveil what is really going on on this island. And when I tell y'all, there's a whole lot going on. This anime, I believe is 23 episodes and they definitely needed all 23 of those episodes to roll out and lay out this beautiful masterpiece, if you will. I feel like animes like this one are very rare animes that don't come across very often. I mean, we get them every blue moon. Like, I'm talking about those, like, well-rounded animes that just keep you engaged. And, like, not only do they keep you engaged, they also have a way at pulling at your emotional strings. They really pull you into the characters and, like, get you involved in the characters. You get that sense of connection to each one of the characters in a very genuine way. The those characters end up being like, just so goofy that we don't give a damn about them or so serious that we don't care about them. You have those animes where they make really well-rounded characters that you can just feel the humanity in this inanimate person 
it really makes it something special. I know one anime studio that does really well with this is Trigger. Trigger Studios has made some of my most hit whole heart wrenching animes I've ever watched in my life. We're talking about from Cyberpunk to Gurren Logan, Kill a Kill, Kill a Kill a little bit, a little bit more on the goofy side, but still have it a very if you really pay attention to the details, there's a lot of little miniature details and, and subtle nuances in Kill the Kill that are really special. Darling and the Franks, and then other animes that aren't from Trigger, like Akame Got Kill. Akame Got Kill does an excellent job at doing like exactly what I would say Summertime Rendering does, where even the side characters, like they build so much into the characters that you just can't help but feel a form of connection to them as you go throughout the story and everybody's getting blocked. You know, it really causes your heart to just sink into your bum hole. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, Summertime Rendering just has this way about reeling you into the characters, reeling you into the world, into the island, like, because these shadow people are intimately linked into the island of summertime that they're also like really just building into the culture of the island incidents from the past that happened there the folk tales and the storylines that go on in there that tie into the underlying theme of what's going on to be shadow folk here in summertime rendering man i mean it's just really a beautiful piece like i was suggested to watch it by a friend and like from episode one will have you locked in. Every other anime I was watching at the time like got put on the shelf for several time rendering. Had to sit there and bibs through all 23 episodes. And there's something about those 23 episode animes or like those 12 episode animes. There's just something special about them where it's like, I know that I can get through you, but I also know that I'm gonna want more of you, but then am I raw for one you want? Remember when you were a teenager watching anime it's that one anime that really got to you really bad and when we got to the end of it you just felt like you fell into a void of emptiness the shadow realm had claimed your soul to keep for the next thousand centuries and there was no possible way for another anime or anything else at that to come and fill the void that has just been created inside of you because how dare this anime give you such amazing storytelling and such an amazing rod and such an amazing connection with these characters just for it. So I'm all finish. Oh, wow. Wow. It's one of those. And I also know that it's not like made, you know, crazy waves and being like a major anime. Like we're probably not gonna see people dressed up in Ushio's bathing suit at the next anime conventions, at the next Molokan, Dream Car. But I think that it definitely has the capacity to become a very cult classic anime if more people were to give it a shot. The animation is absolutely gorgeous. They did a great job with the animation. They did not drop the ball on this anime. But I will say, if you're not paying attention to everything that's going on in the show as it progresses, you'll definitely have like these moments and points in watching it where like you might not understand what's going on because these wider details are very important. Because yeah, if you miss over someone on you'll end up at parts of the show and just be like, what the f is going on? I got high hopes for summertime rendering. I believe with the right love and support within the next couple of years, Summertime Red Ring could become one of those just like hardcore, just anime, classic animes. Kind of like Kill the Kills or things like that, where they're like popular animes. Like if you watch anime, if you're an anime watcher, if you're a weave, if you're a weave, You know what Kill a Kill is. It may not be A list top tier, you know, Big Three, Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, Bleach, all that, but you know it's a B tier anime. It's a B list celebrity. You feel me? He may not be Beyonce, but you know, little baby. 
don't hurt you, baby. But yeah, man, overall, like, I have zero complaints about my experience both watching summertime rendering. I think the only complaint that I have about summertime rendering is that not enough people have watched summertime rendering. So it leaves me void on being able to have well-developed conversation about summertime rendering and just how crazy it is. I mean, like, bro, like, it has those cute elements that we love about it, anime. It's almost like an extra real sci-fi slice of life. At the end of the day, a lot of the core principles of the characters in itself are very human, very normal. These are just normal people on an island with some supernatural thing going on. So like a lot of the shock factors and all those things that play into each character that's in the world really allows for you to relate to it. But then on the other end, it's like intriguing because of the sci-fi fantasy aspects of it with these shadow people and trying to figure out what they got going on. And then on top of that, it feeds that murder horror side of our human existence because there's just parts of the show where it just gets downright sadistic. They deliver punishment. It's brutal. Like it's gory. Like it has very horror like moments where it's just there's blood everywhere and people are just dying in the worst way. And my boy Shinpei has to find his way through all of that. Which is tough. Imagine being the only person, like, let's say you get all this information. You just watched a couple of your friends probably die. And then not only that, you died. Because every time Shinpei dies, that's when he goes back in time. But as I said, when he goes back in time, he's the only one that has recollection of like what had imagine going through those circumstances in itself where it's just like damn i just watched my homies died Do -do -do -do. i died now here i am i've gone back in time and my homies are back alive but i know they're going to die and i am working my ass off vigorously to like assure that that does happen like if you could imagine the amount of stretch that is weighing on my boy's brain, that would happen to any of you put any person in that circumstance, under those circumstances, unless you're a complete head with no regard for anyone in your life, that is stressful. You are going to be stressed. That is going to have you in a down bad place. I don't care who you are. I mean, we're talking about your friends and family, like on the line, everything that you know, everything that's important to you. I need more summertime rendering fans out here so that way we can talk about it because this is almost like we're bridging the gap between Monster meets Tokyo Revengers meets Case Closed meets Melancholia of Ruby Suzumiya. Crazy. This is a crazy combination and I just can't go for it going in unnoticed, hence why here we are in the middle of this video right now because I'm trying to spread more awareness of people on summertime rendering so we can have these conversations. So, you know, I'm gonna give you guys a challenge for all my people that have Hulu, go and engage on the three day summertime rendering binge. If you can get through summertime rendering in three days, drop down into the comments, DM me at Ghost King, call me, whatever you gotta do. Let me know that you watch Summertime Rendering and I will be there to hold you in my arms. You cry on my shoulder about the pain that I just caused you to go through and the joy that I just caused you to go through. We can do this together. You feel me? We're in this together. You are alive. You are my friend. I'm here for you guys and I'm here to put that band-aid on you when you go through the, the dangerous forest of summertime rendering. Thank you so much for watching Animal Monday 365 recaps. I'm your boy at Ghost King Kami. Stay on the lookout for more. We will be giving you guys more Animal Monday news. Reach out to us in the DM if you want. We also have them. You know, it's not much, but we've got Animal Monday bracelets in. We got them in pink and in purple. So if you would like to get a bracelet to support our channel please reach out to us 
we don't have a, a purchase link for it yet but honestly i'm also at the point where i would almost damn near just send it to you for free just let us know that you love us and by all means go hop on onto our instagram page and monday365 and if you go to the link in our bio you will see that we have a link to our new uchiha lives matter shirts please help us help you guys so we can bring you more beneficial anime news give you guys some uh, insights on new animes that you possibly weren't gonna watch before and yeah anime day 365 because it's lit